Hi hey guys. guys! Welcome to another edition of our bookshop book tours. Boom. I am your girl Shen. I'm Ken. And today we are at Cozy Corner Books and More. Did you hear that? Cozy Corner Books and More. Um, they're located at the Vision Plaza. That's right. at Central Avenue. Central right Avenue. in Kingston. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's very easy to find after you pass Kapoiz. The plaza is right there. Uh, today, we'll be finding out, as we did in our previous bookshop tours, what the story is all about and what they offer. So come, follow us inside. <laughs> Cozy Corner Books, the children, the only children bookstore in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We are an award-winning interactive children's bookstore that's fun and cozy. <laughs> we offer storybooks, textbooks, and we normally host children activities prior to COVID, but mm -hmm. given the whole pandemic, we have put that on pause, but we will be back for sure. Okay, so give us a story about like how long you've been together, like how did you meet, how did Cozy Come came about? about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, Cozy started about six years ago, right? Six years ago. Uh, it's just in conversation. We love books and uh, just in conversation we said it would be great to, to have a children's bookstore. but. It actually started um, with us offering a back to school service for parents who couldn't have to do the running up and down to get their textbooks. So we being parents ourselves, we said there must be an easier way to get textbooks without having to be in this hassle, rush, you know, stress of life. And that's how really cozy started that um, we said we'll have, we can come up with a service where Parents just give us their book list and we get everything for them. They don't have to stress, they don't have to join the long line, they don't have to buy yeah. the wrong book. Mm -hmm. You know, we take care of all of that so that they can actually enjoy their summer. So that's how it started and then eventually parents started to ask us about um, any storybooks for kids. So it transitioned from textbooks to storybooks and uh, they wanted to find local books for, for children and then from there we just realized that there is a need for local books in Jamaica and uh, or for it to be exposed and, and our local authors to be more exposed and from there that's how this actual store um, became Cozy Corner Children Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so COVID has impacted us all in um, different ways. What what are some of the pluses and minuses from a business point of view? You know, um, Cozy is concerned, considering that you are an interactive bookstore, but no. So how does that all come about? About this pandemic, course? this year, I don't think we can manage a second year, but it has definitely impacted us. We, we just was on the coops of building a community of readers. Yes. So when we had our in-store activities, we had parents coming in on Saturdays or in the week with little babies, and we had a, a, a schedule with a set of parents who already knew, and the kids all get excited, and they had a routine that was interrupted. So it's almost as if we're going to have to rebuild that mm -hmm. community. So it has impacted us negatively, and with... I would say some positive must come out of it because we got a little time to reorganize ourselves and we, in order to stay alive, we invested in wholesale stationery to kind of keep the business afloat mm -hmm. as well as we made our service much better where people can shop online. So right. our website shop has local books on there and people can go online and order. Mm -hmm. And we already had that 
in the works. So mm -hmm. COVID really fast ac yeah, accelerated that, that uh, whole process. We even have catalogs too where they can shop from like a quarterly seasonal ca catalog mm -hmm. and they don't have to leave their homes. We can use our payment link that is powered mm -hmm. by Alaska Figaro Financial Services. Mm -hmm. You just use your debit or your credit card and shop online. So there are some good and ones. delivery island wide. Right. Right. So. Really, but mm -hmm. this pandemic has been real, real struggles. Mm -hmm. So where delivery is concerned, do you deliver yourself? Because you said island wide. So do you right. deliver yourself or do you do a delivery service? Mm -hmm. so. In Kingston, we have our bearers, but right. outside of Kingston, we have to use. We use Jamaica Post mm -hmm. and Doorway, Doorway, Tara, um, Nuts Food Express. Yes. So we use all the available facilities. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And um, before we move on, what's the the URL for the website? Oh, it's cozycornerbooks.com. Very. Oh, and it's spelled K O Z Y K O R N E R books.com. Why the K do? The adults were there. I saw it and I was like, okay, this is quaint, but for, yeah. for the corner, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's just me. Why, why we had used it again? It was just or to be a little just different. A little different. We, didn't yeah. want, we didn't want C because we had. It's just normal, yeah. you know. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. We wanted to be remembered, right. and then the K, the K could be formed from the book. Yes. Right, right, right. Oh, so you were thinking about everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just all came together. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I noticed that um, you said that you had a community of readers that is coming up and all of these things. Do yeah. you um, partake in any initiatives now that COVID is under but do you still try to... Um, well, we, we have uh, our Instagram, our social media page mm -hmm. has been really good to us in spite of COVID because when we post the books and we post um, the learning resources, people will message us so it has helped us mm -hmm. our social media instagram and facebook mm -hmm. and that those community that community that we built with the moms and the children mm -hmm. they follow us online yes mm -hmm. so that is how we kind of keep in touch with them and some mm -hmm. some of them are on whatsapp mm -hmm. some of them still pass through with their kids just <laughs> just pop in and show them you remember when we used to come here mm -hmm. yeah so thank god for the loyal mm -hmm. book lovers yes but I can tell you, we still have to rebuild the community because it was it was new. We have never had an had a had this where people could come on a routine. Yeah, you know. So it's it's almost like we're gonna have to rebuild it. Mm -hmm. All right. So talking but, about rebuilding, mm -hmm. though, do you, for what age group do you cater for? Um, yeah. Really, or do you separate them? You know, or just for those who don't know, you know, what cozy is about. You know, how because we want to rebuild it now, so we want to tell all the persons who are watching you now, who do you cater to? What the what's the age group? Kids um, from <laughs> babies to young adults. You know, even some adults will have a little section for them of uh, books. But mainly from newborn. Really? Yes, and for uh, up to young teens, pretty much. Because persons will come and ask us for books for like christenings, you know, baby gifts for them to read to the babies. Because you know it's important to start reading from their in the womb, mm -hmm. so eat for them to get familiar with the words, hearing the sound. So it's from babies up to teens, and a few adults that love. Teen books. <laughs> and we also offer gift boxes, you know, so right, people right, come right. in for like a uh, baby shower gift, oh. birthday gift for the little ones. Congratulations, mm -hmm. just because. <laughs> and we have, we have Christmas boxes, boxes and, yeah. which is a Christmas, it can be birthday box, mm -hmm. it can be a just because box as well. Okay, and so do I get that box, that is interesting. Right, that inside that box, do we have. Uh, Two books mm -hmm. will have do it yourself activities, mm -hmm. which includes the supplies art and the instruction, and mm -hmm. art and craft, fun extras. Sometimes we throw a little gift in there for mommy or daddy. Mm -hmm. So we just try is though that cozy box is specifically for those who love books and love crafting, mm -hmm. or you want to get the child into reading and crafting. That's a fun way to introduce. 
um, books for kids. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it, is, it is so funny, and maybe you know, kind of off, but have you ever um, considered putting that into like a subscription box for like local children? So we had a subscription box, and it was quarterly where you'd have two books, a uh, do it yourself activity with the supplies and uh, um, the instructions. And so we started it for about two years, I would yeah. say, and it would be themed. So we'd have a Christmas subscription, Easter, summer, and uh, it was going well, but it wouldn't have enough uh, subscribers to continue. And the thing with us is we love to personalize the boxes, and that takes a little bit more time, labor, and at the time we wouldn't, weren't able to fulfill um, the needs as, as we would love to. So that is something we are looking into going back to the drawing board again and seeing how we can revamp the subscription box mm -hmm. and maybe focus more on the books and our niche, would be, which would be the local books mm -hmm. so that we can reach out to persons outside Jamaica who want a touch of our culture in there. So we will plan on revamping the subscription box and to see how we can make it more global. Right, so recently Jamaica has been authorized to sell on Amazon and we are looking into how we can bring our subscription box mm -hmm. in a similar way right. um, and on Amazon as well. So it will definitely have a Jamaican touch to it for sure. Yes. And it will have more books than art and craft. So right. we're, we have a given up on subscription boxes. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit more time mm -hmm. and revamping. Can you tell me um, some a bit more, give me more, give more information on the cozy box? Um, you were mentioning in terms of like the cost, how do I go about it if I'm interested in doing it, um, stuff like that. Um, so our cozy box is a gift box and you can order it um, if you want to find a gift for Christmas, for just because, congratulations, Birthday. and birthdays. So it's very simple, you just tell us the age of the child and we'll send a mock-up, and oh, we'll send a form asking, you know, the child's interest, um, their age, and we'll send a mock-up of the books and do-it-yourself activities that and art and craft that we would put in the box. And from there, if they approve the mock-up, then we'll go ahead and start it. What we try and do is make the box as personalized as possible. So when we get the name of the child, we'll put it on the box and we would try and get items in the box that the, they would be interested. Even if they have a favorite color, you know, whatever they're into, we'll try and personalize it as much as possible. And then it takes a few days to get everything together and have their names on it and everything. And then from there, you just pick up when it's ready. The um, base cost of the box is Jamaican $7,000. Um, you can give us a budget. Mm -hmm. Usually they tell us, here is my budget. You make do and we will curtail the box to their budget as well. But mm -hmm. the base, which includes two books, two DIY activity, a small gift for mom, and fun activities is six five seven thousand dollars Plus tax. Plus GCT. Seven five plus tax, yeah. How many, mm -hmm. so for those persons who are hearing this and interested, how many days do you think that they need to let you know in advance? I know you said it took some time. Mm -hmm. So how many days do you say it takes? Three like, days. Three days, at least three days notice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so normally you, you mentioned earlier that you do an interactive session and stuff and persons will come in to read. How difficult is it to get in touch with authors? Are they as unattainable or unreachable as I feel in my mind that they are within my mind. <laughs> the authors have been pretty flexible and they are very eager and ready to read whenever we ask them to they make themselves available so so far we have not had any issue with that. They are, they are very happy that we are around and that we have the children's only niche because that's their market so it's a plus for them so they're very usually very happy and ready. How, how, how do they get the books in the store? What's the process? Well, we normally have their contact or they reach out to us on email mm -hmm. and 
we just communicate by from there uh, to their publishers. Some of them have their own publishing houses, some have international ones, so we just have a communication chain going on. But they it's very share. easy for them right. and us. The process is very simple. They would share like a copy of their book so that we can review and see, you know, if it is suitable for the store and for the age group that they say it's targeting and we'll discuss, you know, the costs and uh, we'll just take it from there. We'll just take it because we are an independent bookstore and we're small, we don't take a large quantity. We take, a, you know, a few to start and we encourage them when we take it to post and advertise that this is now available at Cozy Corner Books and then we we'll, we'll take it from there and order more if needed. I wanted to know what is your advice to parents, young and old, you know, how to get their, who's struggling to get their children to read? It is pretty simple. Start. Start buying books. Start. Make it a routine. Mm -hmm. Make it fun. Make it exciting. If it's just to take them to the bookshop once a month or once a quarter and choose a book and get them excited, sit down read a chapter a night or a week. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Just start them on reading and it will develop into a good love of books. And sometimes if they see you, the adult, because it's not just kids, you know, it's all of us need to read more, right? So if you tell in the child, you must read, go pick up a book. Sometimes if they're not seeing you picking up a book, you know, they may not be inclined to do that. So we would say you try and read as much so they can see you reading and, and maybe the curiosity will be there. Make it so, a lifestyle, you right. know? make it a part of your routine, whether mm -hmm. it's once a week, once a month, once a quarter, mm -hmm. you devote some time to read. Right. And and so it's bonding time too with the kids, you know, and um, for those older kids who are not big on reading, maybe they could start out with some graphic novels, comics, you know, people really, some person not big on comics, but it's still a book, yes. you know, and, and is it captures the right. children's So even just to start with the graphics, allow them to choose what they are interested in, because if you're forcing them to read something else and they want to read that, allow them to choose what they want to read. It could be graphics, it could be comic, whatever and start, you know, and then from there, eventually they will go on to books that have more words on it, you know, but uh, you, you have to be patient and recognize their kids. So you have to try and see how it best to accommodate them and their interests, and then it will branch off from there, you know. Okay. Finally, I noticed that you are, um, is proud sponsor of the summer fun reading program mm -hmm. um how did that come about and you know mm -hmm. yeah what is what is that yeah. <laughs> um, so, well the win some wishes for kids uh, foundation uh they're based in new york they reached out to us uh, actually to um because they know we're well i guess they searched online and saw us uh, we're a children's bookstore and they are they started this initiative of uh, reading uh, re the necessity of reading for kids who are maybe below their reading level or having a hard time to, to get into books and not there's no interest so that their initiative was uh, it's I think this is their first year here in Jamaica so they reached out to us to procure the children books that we thought was a good start or intro for kids at kinder to grade three and uh, um, they also asked us if we could get in touch with the authors as well of these books so that the kids could see that hey they met an author and and wow they, i can be like this you know just to generate an interest in reading so um that's pretty much it. They reach out to us to get the books and to reach out to the authors to see if they can be a part of the program to meet the kids and and uh, hopefully something that can be carried on for, I think it's for three schools, but they are hoping to expand throughout the island and to make it a part of the school's program during the September 
curriculum, curriculum. right uh, or during the curriculum they want to add reading as a part of the program because that is not often seen nowadays um, in, schools. in schools where you have actually a assigned time for reading only you know maybe they had it before but now it's completely gone so uh, the, the whole initiative is just trying to develop this love for reading this interest for reading you know and reading books that they can relate to mm -hmm. yes um jamaican theme jamaican culture mm -hmm. as well as to showcase the authors and to, for them to have a backstory yes. mm -hmm. as well as they have this reading program is not just reading they have activities and then they are assessed so it's a very good initiative and a lot oh, more foundation be should really go along that route mm -hmm. to assist with reading across Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Not just giving out a book yeah. once mm -hmm. a year, yeah. right. but make it an activity, make it an event, make yeah. it a program so it, it is continuous. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And that too will help transcend Jamaica, yeah. love for reading mm -hmm. across yeah. the island. So it's a very so good initiative. Because that is what we are trying to push more this year um our hashtag jamaica reads yeah. you know we're really trying to push not only kids but adults to just read more you know as far touched on sometimes the kids maybe in child's month they get a book a free book to read and then that is it we want to show that if there was an interest that the child had for that book it stopped there so how can we try and push it more that they can have more access, yeah. you know, um, to get more books to, to um, accelerate that interest instead of just it stopping there at one point. So that's what we're trying to push. That's what we're trying to encourage. Um, so. so to wrap up our little TNT, you know, what what are the final words? What do you want your viewers to, um, to know, person just hearing about Cozy? What is the last thing you'd say? You can come on by to select a book from your channel, or you can follow us on Instagram, social media to see what we are about. But we are here to stay, and we are will continue to push the love of reading and the love of books. And we are not your traditional bookshop. We are an interactive bookstore, and you can look out for more interactive reading and activities in the future. And we <laughs> offer back to school service. Yes. So that we want you to know this summer, just relax because Cozy is here. Just give us your book list and we get everything on the list for you, the books, the supplies, and you can enjoy summer with the kids and read more. <laughs> 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 there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Farah and Shapia. Yes, from Cozy Corner today. Just gave you the rundown, you know, we have to be social distancing. So you didn't see us on camera, but, but you, you heard us. <laughs> but the main point of the video was to see the story and hear what it's about. So I think we achieved that. Yes, we did. Yeah. And so, this until has, next time. Yeah, oh. this has been a, another <laughs> bookshop tour with the Black Seekers. Yes. Keep reading. Bye.